catch my boys as I pick you up for the first time together. I've never done this. I love you. Look at mommy. Look at mama. Freddy. Look at your brother. Yeah. <laughs> Just in a safe distance here. Hi. I, mean, I gotta go paint your brother's uh, doors. And... I love you guys. Say good night. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Today is uh, Saturday, September 3rd, 2016. Today we are going to be painting Beckham's room. But first we gotta wake up the baby. Hi Brody. What's up my man? How you doing man? You looking good today? That's some crazy noises you make there. <laughs> Let's change you and get you downstairs. You want to help me paint your brother's room today? Hmm? What you want to do? Oh, you see that food. You're like, yeah, that's mine, isn't it? Yeah, that's mine. No? Give me that. <laughs> How was your nap? Was it good? Mine was excellent because your brother had me up all night last night. Brody, Aziz, light. Light! It's too dark in here, man. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Alright, so here's what we're going to be working with today. Ugh. Ugh. So there it is. There's one more paint, uh, can of blue paint. We're going to do this wall over here. Blue. And then we got to do these little texture things on the wall. But I believe Rebecca brought patterns to make it easier. And creatures over here watching us. And for the past month, the cats have been treating this room like, I don't know, like it's the outside of like a bar where like people get sick and just throw up all over the fucking place. Cat mom everywhere in here. There it goes. Should have put the gate up. Hey look, I think that's like a poop over there. Isn't that awesome? Sanitary. This is not the place for you to hang out at. Go somewhere else. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out. Yeah, show grandma how you walk. Show grandma how you walk. Get it done, buddy. Yeah. Grandma hasn't seen it in person yet. Yeah, man, he's got it down. We're gonna paint your room today, Beckham. We'll finish painting your room. Princess Rebecca's gonna show us what she wants done to the room, and now Brody's crying because we both went upstairs. <laughs> Poor grandma. Alright, what do you want me to do here? I already have the idea. Just finish sweeping up to the ceiling here. Okay, I thought you were going to do that, but I got that. Oh, I just don't So just paint this wall. That's an awesome shirt you got there, by the way, too. This cool. What do you paint like that? No, I think that should stay white. You don't want that painted. It looks better for me. No. <laughs> you don't see in the closet unless you change them. No, we're not painting it inside of the closet. Should, what no. paint? No. The extra paint can be used for something else and not painting inside Wait, the closet. What? It doesn't work like that. We don't do the insides of the closet. Because then I gotta like do the trip. Like, no, it's too much. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. No. <laughs> Shut up, Boo Boo. You made this room into a freaking vomit room. But I don't know. You're the one that threw up all over the place. This I don't room know is disgusting. But I don't know. So just what I stated earlier, right? Just the one wall. Yeah, make sure you cover this up. Somebody throw up on your shoulder? It's <laughs> hair dye. <laughs> Some of these cats, man, they're just like all over the place now. Like, you guys yeah. Make sure you turn that up. Yeah, I know, I got you, girl. Can cats get out of the room? Get out of the room! <laughs> Are you gonna finish the job? Don't bother, I can do it. You're not tall enough, don't. You're not gonna uh, be able to reach that. Yeah, it's mean? windy out, dude. Yeah. Just get windy there. There's a storm today in the mofo. No, we can see it like tomorrow and Monday. Muncie, you threw up all over the place in here. Warm milk, stale Cheerios, just fine. What'd you say? <laughs> I said what? I said what? <laughs> you just said. Creechy, you wanna paint with me? Come on, let's go. Wanna paint? I didn't fucking think so. You want to paint too, boo boo? You creepy ass bitch hiding behind there. <laughs> Sorry, family members with your kids watching this. I just feel like swearing today. 
All right, so this is all I'm gonna need to finish up this wall. There's the blue paint. I'm not sure what color it exactly is. You know, one of these little rollers for the edges up there makes things a lot easier and you don't want to go too far. So you don't want the really, you know, you want the small size so you don't get it on the ceiling. You get the idea. And then just this, the basic roller. And then of course, Creechy's tail, if he comes in here, like he's not supposed to, and drives his tail across this thing, which he might do, and be using his tail to paint. So, so uh, stay tuned. All right, so the first coat is done, except for those corners up there, and like down there, and then, you know, over here, that's where this little guy is going to come in handy. Because without this, you're gonna have a really difficult time getting in there. You don't wanna use a brush, you wanna use this. It would work so much easier. All right, so up here, this little area was being a bit of a wanker. So we take one of these things, you know, and you fucking damn it, I'll pay you in shit. Use your autistic common sense and flop it in there. You get the idea. This is probably not how the professional painters do it, but this is how I fucking do it. It works. All right, does, does the beast approve? <laughs> I'm so looking okay. Yeah. Alright, I'm not done the second coat. I know, though. I definitely need the second coat, but. Still haven't fixed my glasses, yes, fuck you. <laughs> Alright, so there it is, two coats. I like the color a lot. Rebecca did a good job picking it out. But now I gotta go down to the garage tonight and do the doors, the hinges, there's three doors. Oh man, they're huge. It's gonna be take me all night to do this. All right, so as I go out to the garage to get the primer or white paint set up with the doors, three doors, Rebecca's been feeding Brody a lot more now. He's actually starting to eat. What you eating there, dude? You eating Elmo? Baby mum's. What are they? Baby mum's. Baby mum mums. He ate a whole thing of what yesterday, like applesauce or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, applesauce. So I think those are Peaches. Peaches today. I don't think he liked them. He was late on everything to walk in, but now in the eating, he's eating now. Good job, buddy. He's like, get out of my way. I'm trying to watch. He's like feeding himself. Monsters University. Yeah. Becca, I'm almost done your room, man. I think tomorrow it'll be done. Tomorrow night, Monday, you'll be able to be in it with the crib. All right. Oh, I just farted. It stinks. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, well, anyway, here's the doors. I'm setting them up now. Um, I got to go in and watch the kids for like 30 minutes, maybe an hour. Rebecca wants to do some exercising. But uh, as you can see, these doors are very like stained. They're like that yellow, nasty color that you get for the house that's been sitting for a while. Our paint. So I'm going to really whiten these up. It's like what I did with all the other doors. It's basic, really good primer. It's white, you know. You don't need to do paint. It's not going to make a difference. This will probably last like 25 years without fading. I don't think it ever fades, honestly. I don't know. He's been laughing and laughing more at like television shows and his movies. He was just like smiling at uh, Monsters University with the boy dancing, the big blue guy. Let's eat. All right, so while mommy does her exercises, daddy is in charge of obviously his other, not his other, <laughs> his two boys. Brody and Beckham. Brody is eating, so let's try to get him to eat. Here, buddy, open up. Oh. Kind of got some in there. It's hard to record it and do this, but let's go check on Beckham. Beckham seems to be fine. He looks like he's sleeping, so we should be good for uh, the 45 minute hour workout mommy's doing, hopefully. What's he doing? What's that boy doing? I moved our nest cam up in that corner up there. It's like magnetic, so it's sticking to the blinds. I bought some magnetic things, but they're not working. I gotta get some better magnets. I noticed that like the outlets on the wall, these are magnetic and I can stick them to that. I did a time lapse with uh, Beckham on the computer last night and then I moved it over to here. So you'll see it at the end of this vlog. Look at this dad dad skill, dad life look. Feeding this one, holding that one up, you like go, but then look, literally got this over here, feeding him at the same time. Here you go, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's really eating now, awesome. Oops, sorry. <laughs> What's going on, man? Does the piggy want more? Ah, open up. Ah, open up. Hey. Now the camera's here, he's like, no. Hey. Hey, my man. No, don't touch it. Open up. Oh. <laughs> that was a really bad example of him eating. <laughs> he is eating really well, though. 
you on the other hand make a big mess. Look at all of it, it's all over your face. Not so much in your mouth. And yours is in a bottle. Who's too occupied with these koalas? Back um now that I think about it, both of your faces are a disaster. Hey, don't get that all over Elmo, man. You're like all, you're both wearing all your food, dude. You too, like, look at all this stuff. It's all over the place. Yeah, look at that, man. It's like wearing his food. Next thing you know, he's gonna projectile vomit right on my lens. <laughs> my boys. Beckham, what do you want? I'm trying to feed your brother. What do you want? Hmm? Your brother's hungry. You're easy to feed with the bottle, him. Huh? This is the first for us, man. He just started doing this the other day. What do you want? Hmm? Oh, yeah, here we go. Burping time. Oh, man. Beckham just spit up all over me. Awesome. He's over here getting fussy now. He's like, I had enough eating. He's done. He's got like one scoop left. You're a hot mess, my man. You're a hot mess. You're a big messy boy. Both of you are messy. Look, it's a father-son moment here. Family moment to the boys. This one's shit. I'm waiting on back, I gotta change them too. Alright, Brody's done. Good job, buddy. Well, you still got some on your chin there. No, you're trying to eat the camera. <laughs> And this little one over here, he needs to be changed and he's still hungry. He finished his bottle too, so we need to get on here. Here's another wipe for you, Mommy. Mommy's cleaning him up. Oh, clean this boy up. He needs a new outfit, a new swaddle, a new diaper, as well as this little boy over here. He's very happy because Monster Zinc, he got the, or Monsters University got to watch the whole thing and he finished all his food. It's crazy, two days in a row. Of course, when you need to change the baby, we ran out of diapers, I had to go run to the closet. Luckily, he wasn't freaking out. Mommy's over there changing him on the bed. And he has some big poops and flat ones, so pretty gross. I don't know what's up with Django. Django's back downstairs again for some reason. She never came down here until like the other day. You look good in that color, dude. Mommy says it's brown, but it's so faded. It's like a black almost, black and white, striped. Brown, I don't know, I'm blind. Brown, we're brown. I can see the brown now. Beckham Brown, Wham Brown! Yeah, hi Beckham! Hello, wanna see yourself? <gasps> Look at that guy, who is that guy? Whoa! Alright, Daddy's got your butt all swaddled, here you go, use your pacifier. Oh, yum yum yum. No, he doesn't want to take it right now. <laughs> Mommy's over there wiping off the floor. Or Brody made a mess, and he's all excited. Cause he's got the bear. Hey, that's my cup. That's what I put my drinks in. I gave you one of those already. I need that one. Here, give me this one. Here. He's gonna get upset. <laughs> Here, I got like 20 of them. Go ahead. Look at this boy, man. He didn't waste no time once he learned how to walk. It's been like a week. <laughs> Still learning. Over here burping back on him. I'm like, Brody, when are you gonna dance? He literally turned Beepo on and started dancing around. <laughs> Well, dancing, walking all over the room, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> Our home has turned into a madhouse, by the way. Yeah, good. Um, yeah. <laughs> you got yeah. Alright, my boys. Right, so I pick you up for the first time together. I've never done this. I love you. Look at mommy. Look at mama. Freddy! Look at your brother, yeah. <laughs> Just in a safe distance here. Ah. I, I gotta go paint the brothers' uh, doors. And... I love you guys. Say good night. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna watch your other brother though. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm right. telling him to spit up on you. No. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so first off is a. Uh, oh, God, I'm like so out of it from all the fumes. I've been spray painting the hinges and stuff too. First coat on the first side of the doors. You gotta wait like a good half an hour. Do another coat. I think like two hours, maybe three hours in between. It all depends. I gotta put some trash bags on the things that are holding them up. You know, we got all this like random shit, like our tables, that, the glass tables, you know, a table over there, some stools. I think I gotta put some plastic bags on them from what I remember when I did it because it'll stick to it and cause the paint to get fucked up. You know, I don't know. It's not humid out. It's actually the coolest night ever. God, I feel like it's like 70 out, maybe 68, 67. I don't know. 
Well, I don't know. I just did all that. It's time for me to crack a goddamn beer. Take a break. Watch some vlogs. Roman Atwood, maybe. I've just been watching Kid behind the camera, but I haven't really been paying attention. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> Painting comes first. All right, so putting the second coat on the doors is the first throw I'm working on. You know, all you really need is this one little roller and, uh, you know, up and down with this, this stuff. With these little indents in these doors, like, I do it like this. I don't know if any of you have ever done it like this. And it works out perfectly. Sometimes these doors can be a pain in the ass. Even, like, painters will tell you, like, that's not how you're supposed to do it. But, you know, it looks great, man. Gives it a great little effect here, a little dab effect. And then, you know, if you're done doing that, you want to go over those little edges that it dipped over on. Just like that. That's it, man. I think it looks great. I mean, I don't know. You'll, you'll be the judge, I guess, when you see our doors. I don't you can turn the light up a little bit here. It's going to be all whited out, but, you know, it works out great, man. These doors are going to look great compared to what they used to look like. Piss yellow stained. Alright, so there's the uh, second coat on the first layer of the door for one end of the door. Um, I know I may not be doing this like the way you're professionally supposed to do it, so if there's any painters out there tell me I'm doing something wrong, let me know. Um, I know you can paint this entire door, I mean, well I can, but just as one roller, like I said, I showed you the dabbing thing, and then you want to go down the edges like this all the way around, and then go back on top and smooth it off, anything for the drips, you know, get rid of all that. From my experience, you want at least two coats on these doors because over time, you know, they're going to start fading getting yellow and I don't want to look at yellow doors. Right, Brody? Fuck that shit! Alright, so these look dry enough. I'm going to attempt to flip them over and I have these plastic bags over here, well, trash bags that I'm going to put on like, you know, like I told you earlier, these little spots and like each spot so it doesn't stick to the table and we can easily get it done tonight. Alright, so I just flipped the doors over. You see the plastic bags at the bottom of them. Let's get painting, man. I just filled it all back up, man. Look at that yellow stain, man. Let's get rid of that ish. All right, so as I'm painting, I brought in, like, the stroller and other stuff. Oh, Muncie wasn't there. She just ran because of the light. All right, Muncie, okay. I'm sorry, sweetie. She was laying in there. I'll let her go do her thing. I'll get her in there. All right, guys, so there's uh, coat number one on door side number two. I won't keep going on, but I'm going to keep documenting it. Hi, boo-boo. I'm almost done doing the door, sweetie. What you doing, girl? Yeah, me on a cackle. That's for you for not helping me paint with your tail. It's all fluffy and shit. You should know how to paint, asshole. And fuck you, Blanket, for just being Blanket and being ignorant. Alright, so that is uh, coat number two, hopefully the final coat. I shouldn't have to do a third coat on door number side two, you know, side two. Um, and that's going to conclude today's video log. I'm not going to sit here and, like, draw this out of me, like, you know, painting. I'm not a fucking painter. Um, but today we had a great day, you know, a simple day. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll kind of conclude the vlog, or Monday at the latest, because, you know, we still got to put Beckham's room together. We still got to build his crib, which is, like, right here in this box still. And, uh... Brody knows all about that, but he doesn't because he wasn't born. And Beckham, don't think, you know, I just want you to know, as a mother and father, father here, don't think we don't love you <clears throat> just as much as we love your brother. We literally did your brother's room, like, <laughs> we did the crib the day before his, his expectant day. Like, it was supposed to be July 3rd, and we did it that day. You happened to come <laughs> a week early or what, nine, nine days early, actually, you came. And actually, we were ahead of schedule compared to Brody. So, I mean, <laughs> and I was actually working on your room the day before you were born. And, and uh, I'll show at the end of this video or when your room's done, I'll show you the before shots. I actually worked on it. Um, but again, like I said, today was a great day. We had an awesome day. I mean, we got this house knowing that we're going to have a lot of work to do. And it's not a lot of work. It's mostly just cosmetic stuff, painting and all that. You know, we got the house for a good deal. I want to say, like, we got the house for a good deal. If it wasn't for Rebecca's mother, we wouldn't even have, have this house right now because her, her mother was the reason why we had this house. When we found out we were having Brody, we were still going to keep Brody. We thought we were going to be living in a nice little one-bedroom apartment in Riverside with our five cats. And then uh, it turned out Rebecca's mom had a college fund put away for Rebecca that <clears throat> Rebecca never used. She never went to college. You know, today's college system, you know, it's kind of a joke, but it isn't. You need it for certain jobs. But today, it's all about who you know, too, at the same time. And if you're willing to work. But her mom, you know paid for this house. I mean, not in full, but I mean, we got a good enough payment where like our mortgage is low. And if it wasn't for her mom, thank you, grandma. We appreciate it. We love, oh man, I love her so much. And uh, <clears throat> if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't be where we are today. We'd be in that one bedroom apartment, 
Heck, I might, might not even be here today. So if you really think about it, butterfly effect again, man. If it wasn't for Grandma Balker, man, Beckham might not even be here because we probably would have made Rebecca jump on that birth control and not had baby number two come out. We wanted a second child, but not that quick. But it was the best thing that's ever happened to us. Like, I love waking up to both those guys every day. I mean, it's still hard now, but it's going to get a little easier time. All parents know, you know, it's the best decision and hardest thing you're going to go through in life. Um, I'm going to cut this off. Like I said, hopefully we'll finish this room tomorrow or Monday, and I'll continue vlogging as much as possible. I have so many vlogs ready for you guys, but I like to have them behind a little bit. So in case I have a week where I don't feel like vlogging or I'm having a strenuous week, they're there. And be sure when Rebecca goes back to work and... 10 days, I'll be vlogging that first day because it's probably going to be really hectic for me. Um, but again, guys, like I always say, stop judging, start loving, accept others for they are. Just be yourself, man. Take care. And I wish I could go in the pool right now, but it's kind of too cold out. We'll see what's going on, but I'm going to sit in the garage and I got that time lapse going, man, so you get to see. There it is over there. The Nest Cam. Love the Nest Cam. Get a Nest Cam. Baby monitor. If you ever need a baby monitor, don't get a baby monitor. Nest Cam is the best baby monitor you'll ever get. Two-way communication, you get everything out of it. But again, I'm going on. I ain't getting paid to advertise that stuff. <laughs> um, but again, I love you guys. Take care. Enjoy your life, man. Meow.